Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today we're going to be showing you how to adjust audio levels in HitFilm Express. So not only the level for the entire track or layer, we're also going to show you how to do it mid-track. So maybe you have some music and you need to fade it out and then fade it back in because you might be doing some talking or voiceover work. We'll show you exactly how to do that today in HitFilm Express. Now HitFilm Express is what I use on a daily basis for most of my editing. If you are interested in it, it's totally free and you can find it at fxhome.com. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so here we are in HitFilm Express. If your workspace doesn't look exactly the same as mine, I'm using the editing workspace. So you can go up to Window, Workspaces, and there's an editing option right here. If you left click on that, it should look very similar to mine. I'm also using the dark mode, which is an add-on feature. Um, if you don't have the add-on feature, it's likely in light mode or a white color, but you should be able to follow along with no problems. So let's go ahead and bring in a video clip and an audio file here. I happen to have some on my desktop. So I'm gonna just drag and drop both of these right into my media area here in the top left-hand corner. And if you're not seeing the media area, you might have controls turned on. Just go ahead and left click on media here. So let's start out with the video clip. I'm gonna actually put it in my timeline down here. And this is a video clip of a recent cruise we did to the Caribbean. And there's a lot of wind noise in the background. So we're gonna show you how to mute this audio. We'll show you how to adjust the levels on it. And then we'll show you how to maybe add in that audio clip I have or the music up here. And we'll show you how to adjust that mid track. So maybe you want the music to fade in and out. Um, so you can do a voiceover or something like that. We'll show you exactly how to do that in a moment. So let's go ahead and start out with just adjusting the main audio levels here. So you can see that this audio and video clip are in video layer one and audio layer one, and that's gonna correspond to your audio mixer up here. If your trimmer's turned on, just go ahead and click on audio mixer, and you'll see audio track one right here, that one right there. So if I go ahead and hit play, you can see there's a lot of wind noise and it's all coming through on this audio track one. So there's a couple different ways we can adjust the volume here. The first, if we just wanna mute the whole layer, we can just go ahead and hit mute right here and you can see it turns blue. You can also do it from right here. You'll see a little speaker icon and you can left click on that and that's gonna unmute and mute it right there. So if I mute it, you're not gonna hear anything on this layer at all. So that includes if you're putting in other video clips after it and all the audio from those ones will be muted as well. So that doesn't necessarily work for everybody, but it is an option there as well. So I'm gonna unmute that. The second method would be just to lower the volume here. So um, you can hit play like that. You'll see a little dot here next to your audio track and you can lower the audio down like that. So if I lower that dot down and hit play, that wind noise is definitely reduced. But again, that's gonna do that for your whole audio track, so for the audio one track. And that doesn't necessarily work for you as well if you've got multiple video and audio clips in here. Now the third method for doing this would be to just lower this track individually. So right here you'll see there's a line in our audio track now I've actually made this a little bit bigger. If you go to these three lines here um, and left click on it, you can adjust how wide this is. So I've got the audio size on large. I can even make it extra large here so you can see it a little bit better. You can actually take this line, hover over it, left click and adjust it up and down like this. And this will actually just adjust this one clip. So if you have multiple clips, it's not gonna adjust those. So let's lower that down. And now when I hit play, the background noise is significantly less. So that might work well for you there um, if you're just wanting to adjust the one track. Now from here, let's go ahead and put in that music track. So I've got that music track right here. We'll drag it down and drop it into my audio two layer, just like that. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and maybe I'll just bring this in so it matches the length. And we'll take a closer look here. I'm actually gonna go back to the large size so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. All right, so we've got our video track, we've got some audio here. And what we wanna do when I play this, you can see that the music comes through as background noise and it's coming, 
coming through on the audio two layer here. So maybe it is a little bit loud for us and we wanna bring down the whole layer. Again, we can do that right here. But what we wanna do is actually show you how to adjust this mid track. So it's very easy to do. Let's go ahead and take this bar and we'll slide it right to the beginning. And let's say we wanna fade it in and then we're gonna have it at this level, then bring it down so we can um, put in a voiceover and then right back up and then we'll fade it out at the end. So it's really quite simple to do. What we're gonna do is go right to the beginning here with our mouse and we're gonna hold down the control key on our keyboard. And you can see that turns into a little crosshair there. And we're gonna just click where we wanted to start right there. And it's gonna put a little node right there. I don't know if you can see it, it's a little blue node. And we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna find where we would like the end of our fade to stop. So maybe right here, we'll click that. And then we'll create these two little nodes there. Now from there, we can just grab the node. I've let go of the control key. We can grab it when I hover over it, it creates a little um, arrow going in four different directions. We can grab it with our mouse and hold down the button and we can lower that down right to the bottom, just like that. So now when I hit play, it's gonna fade right in just like that. So it's really easy to adjust that. Now, if I wanna make changes, I can just go to these nodes. If I want the fade to be longer, and quieter, I can do that. So you can easily adjust it however you like there um, with moving these nodes around. And maybe we wanna fade it out here in the middle. So I am just gonna go to that area. Again, hit the control key and create a new node. Just left click on there. And then we're gonna fade it out. So I'll create a second one just like that. And we're gonna lower that node down. So in this area here, it'll fade out. Maybe we wanna put a voice over there. And then I wanna bring it back in. So I'll create another node or two nodes, one for the starting point and one for the ending point. And I'll bring that back up. And then maybe we wanna fade it out here at the end as well. So just like that, I'll create two more nodes and then it'll fade out like that. So now we've got where it's fading in, We've got our volume at full volume. And again, if we wanted to adjust these, we could adjust the volume just for portions right here as well. So um, it's very versatile that way. And then I'm gonna do a little voiceover here as well. And a lot of you don't know that this feature exists. You can do a voiceover right here in HitFilm Express. So let me show you how to do that. If you go up to file here at the top and you should see a record option right here, voiceover, and there's a control shift R shortcut. Let's go ahead and left click on that. And we're just gonna click on mute playback so it doesn't play the audio from my video here while we're doing this. And let me record a voiceover. Three, two. This is footage of our cruise to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. I'll hit stop and it'll actually create that voiceover for me. So I see it in there. Let's just close this out. And it actually created a new voiceover track down here and put it in there. So now let's go ahead and play this here so you can see what it sounds like. This is footage of our cruise to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. And it worked perfect. And it's really that simple to adjust volume levels here in HitFilm Express, the full volume levels of the track, as well as to adjust it mid-track, like what I just showed you there. It's an awesome program, and I hope this tutorial helped you out. So I hope this HitFilm tutorial gave you value. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, take care.